Alright, so the Lich King play close attention uh, to his unorthodox strategies. He's a cheat. The Scourge here will power summon a 2 2 goal. Alrighty everybody, so before we get into this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you the deck that I am going to be using within the Lish King Shaman Trial. Now, there's a couple of decks out there that require tons of thousands of legendaries that require a lot of dust to craft, and those are some great easy decks to win with, but most people like me can't afford that. There's a Murloc deck, which I tried and I just didn't go too well, but I do have a variation that is very similar to the Murloc deck that requires you to utilize uh, Devolve, which is a tactic for turn seven, which you guys see um, in this video. But uh, first of all, basically I'm using, there's a, a ability that the Lich King has that makes every single minion in your deck uh, one, cost one one. So I'll show you reason why I have these cards in my deck. So target dummy is really nice. It'll end up being a one one taunt. Argent Squire is already a one one with divine shield. So whoop de doo Dragon Egg will be turned into a 1-1, so you get a free 2-1 Whelp, which is always nice to have Death Rattles that end up becoming, well, this is technically not a Death Rattle, but it, in, in a sense, since it's only a 1-1, it is. You'll get a 2-1 monster, so a, mon a minion with 2 attack is always beneficial because everything in your deck has 1. Evolve will be great just to utilize when you have tons of um, minions on the board, so if you do find a, a circumstance to use Evolve, go ahead and do so. I threw in Lightning Bolt just to get some extra damage it, towards the end of the game. And same with Crackle, because um, I only have one of each. But Devolve is a mandatory card in this deck, and it is for turn 7 once uh, Lish King utilizes um, Frostmourne. So we've got Echoing Ooze for the same exact reason. Um, Flame Tongue Totem, which increases the attack on your adjacent minions. And this also becomes a 1-1 one, one minion, so it can attack on itself. Haunted Creeper, I mean, Death Rattle, summon 2 one, one spiders, so the more minions the better. Nerubian Egg is absolutely fantastic. Death Rattle, summon a 4-4 Nerubian, and the Nerubian Eggs become attackable monsters or minions as well with being 1-1. One, one. Uh, I did end up putting the Primal Fin Totem. It summons a 1-1 one, one Murloc at the end of your turn. The Totem becomes a 1-1, one, one, so it's attackable, um, so it can go face. But uh, what's good about this is the more minions that you can have, the better. Barrel Spirit is early game, defensive, just helps me get by until turn 7. Hex is needed just in case. I mean, you never know, something might happen. But Hobgoblin is a hero. If you can put two of these in your deck, go ahead and do so. You can get rid of one of the hexes or a crackle or a lightning bolt. Um, because Hobgoblin is absolutely amazing because everything is a one attack minion. Uh, lightning Storm is also needed. Um, but as you can see in the video that's going to be coming up, I did not utilize it, but usually I do. Um, and the reason being is on turn 7, he gets all of these um, frozen minions. Devolve gets rid of them and gets rid of the Frostmourne, and Lightning Storm can clear up the board just after that. Uh, call in the finishers, there's more 1 1 Murlocs, and then team that up with Hobgoblin. Just having a nice board is very good. Uh, Charged Hammer becomes. I mean, it's just extra damage, just put it that way. And then Bloodlust, I mean, of course, what else is a Shaman deck without Bloodlust? So that is the deck, let's get into the video. But if you could tell by my yawning, I've been doing this for a few hours. Actually, I've been doing it for a few hours. Oh, piss, piss off, dude. This hand is so bad. Oh, no. This is, they do me dirty. I need Devolve. I need Call of Lightning or freaking Lightning Storm. There's so many cards I need. I need Hobgoblin. Big kind. That's actually good. I like that. Skeletal Knight can be really useful for me. I I don't think the game realizes though. I'm about to lose. I lose if I don't get two cards that I need. I don't have any of them right now. Well. Oh, can I? I oh, I can't emote. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. No one is ordering you around. The elements are going to destroy you. What, what did you think? Um. Hmm. Hmm. Looking pretty lady right now. Because now I'm about to get a nice juicy card. Remove the top card of your opponent stack. I mean, that could be good. Could be good. You never know. That looks like a great field. Because they're both going to die. Remove top card of your opponent's deck, and it's a 2 3. Oh no, no. Not what I want. Alright, this is uh, one turn. Just survive one turn, boy! No, 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 no! Devolve, alright, I'll take it. Um, but it's a great turn to blood my stuff. Impossible. I am so close to winning. This side, just in case. Just in case he kills this. But now he's gonna go to Frostborn phase. All I need to do is devolve and and win. Devolve and win, boys. Devolve and win, boy. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna do the strat because I don't have the cards. Oh my! You immuning piece of shit. That's why I put those cards over there though, because I knew he was gonna do that. I did not get the correct cards. I gotta devolve no matter what. Here we go. One, three. One. One. I mean... Did I win? <laughs> Shaman's down, fam! Oh! I feel great! I feel great! Now I got it. Yeah! Awesome sauce. Alright, so, Thrall Deathseer, the shaman's mind was overwhelmed with voices. A co cacophony of the dead, what, I can't even, I don't even know what that is. The Deathseer closed his eyes and uttered a single word, sleep. Alright, so, I've done it. That's it. The Frozen Throne is all too completed. Frostmoin. So that's one out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exactly. So we did get the. We, okay, this is. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Everything is completed. Impossible. Impossible. What do you say? Best of nine. Best of nine. Ha ha. It took me two full hours last week and almost two full hours this week to defeat you with a shaman. Imagine how many games that is. So basically. We completed it with Shaman. We get to do it with every other class to get and unlock the Prince Arthur's new Paladin hero. So, Shaman's completed. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.